Hey everyone, Aether here, and today we're going to be looking at the Great AFK Gold Farm in Twilight Highlands. This zone is located in the east of the Eastern Kingdom. Once there, just head to the west of the Moor of Madness, and you'll find the poor dwarf in charge of defending his allies up the hill 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The loot table for the mobs we're going to kill is pretty poor, but with the potion of treasure hunting buff applied, it can make it significantly more profitable. This potion can be bought on the auction house from anywhere between 300 and 800 gold. When we kill the mobs with this buff on, they will drop tiny treasure chests as part of their loot table. Brewmaster Monk is best used for this farm due to the Black Ox statue, as it helps to pull in the mobs towards you before the greater fire elementals kill them. However, any class can theoretically farm this. The only required talents for this guide are the Black Ox statue and Rushing Jade Wind. To streamline this farm and make it AFK, i.e. you don't need to pay attention to what you're doing, you will need GSE, Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. This add-on lets you create advanced macros within Blizzard's TOS. You will also need the Looterang Engineering Toy. To create this macro, type forward slash use tiny treasure chest in the key press box, then forward slash cast at player in brackets, summon black ox statue then write forward slash cast rushing jade wind a few times and finish it off with forward slash use looterang all of this information will be pasted below so you can simply copy and paste into your own add-on once that's done save it then drag the macro to your favorite sample hotkey for the farm itself position yourself in the middle of the two greater fire elementals and spam the macro until you run out of the potion buff or your fingers start to hurt. This is a great farm for if you're actually preoccupied with something else like watching a good movie on Netflix as you don't need to give your WoW screen any attention whatsoever. After approximately one hour of farming, I made 430 raw gold from silver drops and vendoring the food and water which more than covers the price of one treasure finding potion. I also looted 367 embers of cloth, 22 pyrite ore, 12 volatile life, 12 volatile air, 24 volatile earth, 10 volatile fire, 12 volatile water, 2 elementium block boxes, and a bunch of greens, which I usually vendor at the moment. After vendoring and selling everything on the auction house, I made just short of 5,000 gold. Your mileage may vary as I'm on a high population server, but from the data I've seen, you should be able to make a lot more gold than other servers, even if it takes a little longer to sell. And that's all there is to it. It's important to note that this is by no means a top tier gold farm, but it's definitely one of the easiest once everything is set up. I personally do this when I'm instance locked or if I'm watching something properly on my second screen like Netflix or Twitch. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with more gold making videos in the near future, please consider subscribing. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and thank you very much for watching.